Hi, this is Chaz Palminteri, and if you're thinking about getting your eyes done, the only person to see is Dr. Rothman of LASIK of Nevada. I flew all the way from New York to be here, and Dr. Rothman did my eyes. And all I could say is, it's a miracle. I could see. You see Dr. Rothman of LASIK of Nevada. of Vegas drinking goodness. I'm Alicia. I'm David. And this week, not unusual for us, but we delve into the little bit of the seafaring type of situation. Not Arr. really. Arr. <laughs> but let's not even go into that. Do that. Oh, Do welcome. This. The biggest live studio audience that we've ever, ever had Yay! here in the studio. Welcome. <laughs> also, as always, welcome to live chat room. Hello. Live chat room. <laughs> um, fact, Change my name to Chad Room, so I get welcomed everywhere I go. Chad Room? Yeah. Nice, Mr. Welcome, Room. Chad Room. <laughs> Chad um, Room. Because it's going to be confusing and I've never done it before, let's get right to the Cocktail of the Week. If that rhymed, would that have been badass? It would. It would what? have been, but it wasn't. It so was. Much. Cocktail <laughs> of the Week. Chad, <laughs> we're back. Rapping ain't my game. I feel practice. Rhyming and stealing ain't my thing. I can't, I can't even rhyme that. <laughs> okay. We're going to make a fuzzy pirate. Why it's called fuzzy pirate? No idea. Maybe we'll find out I later. Know. Well, you know what? You're after right. After enough of us. So it said Captain Morgan, but since we don't mess around, we go for the Sailor, Sailor Jerry. Jerry. Because nice. Sailor Jerry is 101 proof. No, it's 92 proof as opposed to 80 proof Captain Morgan. Right. So we don't mess around. So let's, you, you walk me through it, because I've never, I don't even know what's going on. Here. Okay, so we're going to need peach schnapps. You've got, your, got your Sailor Jerry, Curacao, yep. orange juice, and ice. So okay. you're going to, you're going to make a one at a time? No. Two at a time? Okay, yeah. so we're making two. So it's one oh. and a half ounce of peach schnapps. Which already makes me not really like it. I think that's the fuzzy part. Oh, like a fuzzy navel. A fuzzy peach. Oh, fuzzy, peach. that's what, <laughs> Yes. It all makes sense now. Hmm. Isn't there a song, Peaches? Peaches are fuzzy. Thousands of peaches. But, oh, what's the song, Peaches? I should know that. It's an ounce and a half of this? Yes. For two? Yes. That's weird. So it's only three quarters of an ounce for one? That's right. Check correct. out the math. <laughs> right. Right. Pretty good. Uh, an ounce and a half of Sailor Jerry. Just for... That doesn't seem like enough. No, that really doesn't. I might, I I might I actually... I make four. I might actually <laughs> spill a little extra in there. Oops. Okay, a dash of orange curacao. Just dash. a dash. I don't like these non-technical terms. And, a, and then a splash of orange juice. Oh, geez, a dash and a splash? <laughs> this is not going to be two, I'll tell you right now. There's no way that's two. Well, and you're supposed to put in a martini? Yeah, what there's no that? way that's two. There's no pot. I don't think that's one. And a splash of orange juice. I don't know what sissy side I got this off of, but I they don't, don't know, know either. how to drink. That'll be one. It, I won't be one. Shake and strain. All right. I doubt that's going to satisfy our voracious appetite. No, that's one. That's one. <laughs> that was two? <laughs> well, you do that. I'll make another one whilst All you right. drink that and give us the drunk term of the week. How's that? Oh, sounds good. You know, let me have a little sip first. It's one of the, it, well, wait. Tell me what's too much and too little, and I'll fix it for mine. Too much of that. Really? Yeah, I need more rum. Well, you mean I'll need more rum. Yeah, you'll okay. need more rum. Okay, so the drunk term for this week is grog blossom. Hey, that's very fitting in the piratey kind of vibe. It was. I actually found it on a pirate lingo website. Oh. So grog blossom is a redness on the nose or face 
of a person who drinks spirits to excess. Oh, the like mayor, like Oscar mayor, mayor Oscar Goodman. That's correct. Former <laughs> mayor Oscar Goodman. There was a guy that used to work at the at the uh, not batting cages. What are those other things that you do with golf? Um, driving. Driving range, and he was an old guy, and he had one of those big red noses. And it was like a cartoon, because I only seen that in cartoons. They had the, the drunk always had the big red nose. With the big pores and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> like but, a cartoon drunk? Yeah. So, now this one. That'll be better. All right. I think we go back to the cake shots. <laughs> and actually, we have some, we have live studio audience members from Canada here, Eric yes. and Kim. And they actually brought us a bottle of this three wonderful olives cake Three box. Olives cake. If you guys haven't had this yet, oh my god, is it good? This, this stuff is amazing. It tastes just like, just like sprinkles, like let's say like what, like frosting and sprinkles. It's really, really good. Is mm. that better? They no. said it was really important that you left that here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna make it out of here tonight. Just All saying. Right. Well, now that we're something about that, I don't care for. Well, you put more rum in that one, right? Yeah. Is that is mine better than yours? Yeah. Well, then you, I don't know. I'm not gonna look at yours. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, David. Well, let's get to the let's get to the heart of the issue here. All right. Last year, last week we did two weeks ago. We did Mandalay Bay. This week we're doing one of my favorite places, one of your favorite places. We've had some great times here, ladies and gentlemen. Treasure Island. Good. Treasure <laughs> Island, now called the TI, which I don't. That doesn't sit well with me. It's always Treasure Island to me. It's always going to be Treasure Island. We'll always miss the pirate theme. I know. They, 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 they've pretty much done completely away with the pirate theme. Now that they've ruined the front of the building, we still love it. Oh, let's start at the top. Treasure Island used to, was, was built by Steve Wynn mm -hmm. to be the little counterpart to the Mirage, which is right next door. He did this total family-friendly, cool vibe pirate thing. Had the best sign, I think, in Vegas history, the big two-sided skull. The swords through it. I still wonder what happened to that thing. I, I would the, love. It's got to be at the, the graveyard. graveyard. Is it? Mm. It's so big. I would love mm. to have that. And um, the um, so it was major pirate theme. We loved it. We used to go there all the time. In fact, we celebrated. I think I wrote it down as one of our favorite Thanksgivings, but that's completely not true, because that was the funniest <laughs> Thanksgiving we've ever celebrated in our lives. Remember? Oh, this is when we stayed there, right? Yeah, we stayed. It's the only time I've ever stayed at Treasure <laughs> Island. I don't even Island. remember. I don't remember what the room even looks like. Well, that was the thing. We, we have family in town. This is before we lived here. We came into town and did Thanksgiving out in Boulder, Boulder City. And an uncle of mine had a wild turkey and domestic turkey. So we had <laughs> domestic and wild turkey. And we went back to, at, it was like 5 in the afternoon, we went back to Treasure Island to get ready. Woke up on Friday. Black Friday. Yeah, we just crashed. I woke up with my shoes on. I, <laughs> I think like... we, we, woke, we went to sleep about 5 in the afternoon. I just fell asleep and woke up on Friday. Like, we missed an entire night in Vegas. And before we lived here, that was bad. Like, there was a whole night we, did, we lost. <laughs> like, so we time traveled. It was a good Thanksgiving, though. It was. This is also the place, if you guys remember, a couple weeks ago, we almost starved to death in the, in the foyer. We were eating peanuts. And oh, bananas. yeah, 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 that's right. When we were, yeah, we were act actively starving ourselves. Well, no, wait, well, uh, what were we doing? This is only like a month ago. I remember all, I was like dizzy, and we were sweaty and fainty, and we were crawling. Like, we weren't, we were trying not to drink or trying not to eat or something. We were trying not to eat. We were trying just to drink oh. to save calories, and that didn't really work. And I remember we went to. <laughs> so we don't do that anymore. In the, I, I was in this haze. I remember we got. A bag of almonds and, and a, two bananas. We were dipping the bananas in the almonds and eating. Like, right, sitting in the floor of Treasure Island. Like, ah, oh, I can't go any further. <laughs> I can't, so. but yeah, we didn't want to eat badly, so. Oh, that was. Thought that was healthy. Yeah, which probably wasn't, but. <laughs> wasn't. Oh. Anyway, so if you're staying at the TI, a couple places you absolutely have to hit. There's not a ton of places here. What they've There's done. There's a new place. But what they've done, remember Mandalay Bay last week? There's 100 places to go. Here, you've you're, you got a handful. But what they have, I think, is killer. For starters, the new seafood shack. I know that sounds stupid. I hate even saying seafood shack. And there's a couple billboards around town. All they have is like a little crab claw. Yeah. And it says seafood shack. It doesn't say anything about bar, restaurant, anything. So you're like, you know, what is this? Well, place? it used to be Isla, or Isla, I don't know, I-S-L-A, a Mexican joint, with the best bartender in town. Augie. A huge selection of tequila and mezcal, which was great. And she knows all about it. 
She was, that was what made her, she's a Vegas institution. We didn't even know her. We came, went into Isla one time. I checked in on Yelp or Foursquare or whatever. And it said, best bartender in the world, Augie. And I looked, and her name was Augie. And I said, you're the best. And I showed her the, the thing. Yeah. We've been friends ever since. Um, <laughs> she's great. Yeah, so and I, luckily, she's still there. But they took out the, the, the Mexican theme. Now it's like, a, I thought they were going to do like a Joe Stone Crab thing. Joe's Crab Shack thing. No, Joe's two, those two, two different, different places. Different. I know, I know. I know. Uh, Joe's uh, Crab, Crab, Crab Shack. Shack. They didn't. It's classy. It's nice. The only problem with this place is the bar is killer. But do you see the hours? It's the same crappy hours that Isla had. <laughs> it's like worse. The, the bar, no, the, the bar is open in the front, but the restaurant doesn't open, and you can't get food in the front of the bar after until five, five o'clock. And the bar opens at eleven on weekends or one on the end, on weekdays or whatever, and that's great. And it's funny because Isla was supposed to have good food. We never ate there because the bar doesn't open until in the afternoon, and we're not going to get by the dinner menu, so we just yeah. And it's pretty sad because you see a lot of people walking by and walking up to the bar and saying, you know, do you have any food? And they're like, right. oh no, kitchen's closed. It's but like, the bar is killer. Kind of missing out. Augie's amazing. Actually, there's a few bartenders there that are amazing. The drinks are good. They have they have good specials. They have buckets of full sale for twenty bucks. That's not bad. That's and, not bad. And they, yeah, they didn't have any like premium beers last time we were there. So now but now they do because it's just, yeah. they've got a pretty good selection. I highly recommend it. Hi, the, so, the Crab Shack, or I'm sorry, Seafood Shack, great. Um, Gillies. I love Gillies. <laughs> Gillies is, yes, it's that Gillies from Urban Cowboy from, what, what part of Texas is Gillies in? Uh, what's that? Dallas? No, is it? Outside, awesome. uh, what, Irving, right? Was that the one right outside of Dallas? Okay, yeah, something like that. Owned by Gilly. Gilly. <laughs> Gilly. We're gonna, we're gonna is there a Gilly? Is there a guy named Gilly? Yeah. Vince Gilly? Yeah. Mickey, Mickey Gilly. Gilly. Okay, owned by Mickey Gilly. <laughs> Who's back there doing that? Right. Boston. <laughs> yes. So it was the biggest bar in the world. It's in Texas, and they moved it out here. It used to be at the Frontier. They closed the Frontier. The guy who owned the Frontier bought TI. So what's the first thing you do? Pirate theme, let's move the country bar in. It's great. It's great. Every day, it's great. Every night, it's great. It's great. It's great. I have a few complaints, but they're, for, but they're further down the list. Are your complaints to do with the bar stools? Yes, they are. Okay, that would be my complaint right. also. Well, they have two bars. They have an inside and outside. They apparently have food. Who cares? Um, We've eaten there a couple times. They've, well, we got nachos that weren't very good. But you go there to watch I the like game. It. It's a barbecue nacho. We've seen more butts in that bar than any other bar in Las Vegas. Well, they started, and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> I think they've started. I'm, I don't know if they're doing it every night. Making but the girls wear underwear? Wait, yeah, making them wear underwear. Because before, Damn the it. girls would go in with mini skirts, and they, they get on the bowl. And then There's a bowl, yeah. Then bowl. they do that thing they do with the girls where they knock the girls over in their faces, and then they do a jiggle, right. jiggle thing, and then their skirts go whoop, 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 up. And the, and We've seen and dastardly things. the girls are wearing underwear. How do, they, how do they check for underwear before you get on the bowl? If you're wearing oh, a skirt, no. If, if if you're wearing a skirt, they make you pull over like these short things. Oh, oh they do. You're yeah. right. Oh, they, they make you wear. They don't make you wear underwear. I was gonna say because I know that I would like to apply for that job. Right. <laughs> but we've been sitting at the bar. A panty applier. We've been sitting at the bar and turned around and went, "Oh my god." <laughs> oh yeah. Something's winking at me. Like, I mean, it's. I. But it, you still will see butts. I mean, they. they but it's. It's a really. It's fun. They do bikini ball riding on Tuesdays or something, but that's, they're paid to be there. It's not, it's not, not, not that impressive. But they have drink specials. They play the games. They play the races. The bands there are killer. Play there like the, the country The line dance. dancing gets pretty crazy. The there's, line dancing is great. There's some pretty good people watching there, too. And, and like, like kids will come in early with their, we saw a couple like families. I like that. Yeah. And they're out there dancing, line dancing. Yeah. No, it's a really, really fun place. As far as all the country bars go, they do it right. It's really cool. There's a whole like kind of subdued restaurant in the back area. Yeah. Eh, I, don't, I, we've, I think we've been out there one time. Like, it's got a view of the strip. Oh, it's right on the strip. But whatever. You know, it's just, it's not all that. <laughs> yeah, view, know. it's on the strip. No, but we go in the bar where it's fun. Oh, but you said the bar stools. Half of the bar, some body that I hope is fired, his bright idea was instead of bar stools, let's put saddles. So nothing Hard makes you. Hard plastic saddles that right. you have to climb I don't know. I think, they're, I think they're real saddles. Doesn't matter. You feel like a jerk sitting there with you, like, <laughs> like you, they don't turn. So you're just sitting there, like. Oh yeah, you're stuck and you you're, you can't turn and talk to anybody. And right. if, you know, if you're wearing a skirt, well, you, you gotta sit side saddle. So you're like, well, you oh, don't. Boy, how are you doing? You don't it's realize really how much at a bar 
you spend sitting on the side of your stool or standing up or just, just kind of being in the area. And if you want to watch the band, you have to sit backwards and you look like a total jerk. Oh, I know. It's, 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 <laughs> it's really a bad idea. And, after, and ever since they did that, I've started to notice how people sit on bars and how people react in bars. And you kind of just have an area. Monday Night Football, we just kind of had an area. Some people sat in our seats, then we would come back to the seats, and then we'd all kind of move around just kind of in a very organic sort of way. You put a dumb saddle there, and somebody's stuck there, and that's it. They're not moving. They're not turning. They're not talking. They're interacting. Yeah, it's a terrible. Now, luckily, only about a third of the bar are the saddles, because how many can you have? I mean, they're, they're a foot apart. <laughs> just, it's a terrible idea. The rest of the bar, killer. We have a chat room question. Oh. Uh, Brian from Wisconsin, I believe that is, wants to know, did Alicia ride the bull? <laughs> I did not ride this particular bull. No, you did not. I did not. No. I did not. You weren't because you weren't wearing underwear and you couldn't do that. <laughs> they were like, "Get out of here!" Right. The, the, That's uh, how you know. Uh, um, yeah. The live so, audience uh, would like to know how much would it cost for Alicia to ride the bull? How much would it cost? For my friends, it's free. Yay. <laughs> no. so but we're I'm wearing underwear, Gillies. you guys. I'm wearing underwear. <laughs> we're going to go to Gillies after this. Um, so Gillies, great. Amazing, fantastic place. Um, oh, what do you think about the cocktail waitresses' uniforms? They are magnificent. This is a common theme I see in country bars, at least in Las Vegas. Stoney's has it. Um, uh, Toby Keith, I Love This Bar and Grill, has it. Um, I don't know if that the, wa the waitresses the waitresses have it, which is bikinis with chaps. Black bikinis with chaps. That's a really good. That's what I'm going to wear for Halloween. <laughs> that place okay, on Third Street has me. it as well. Oh, do they? What's that place? Uh, uh, it's Las Vegas a, Country Salon. Mm, no, it's uh, it's kind of a biker bar vibe. Oh, 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 oh yeah, Hogs and Heifers. Yeah, yeah they have. Yes, the same they, that's thing. right. They wear the exact same kind of. Well, they wear jeans and, and those bikini girls top. dance on the bar top. And those girls are tough chicks. And those girls do shots behind the bar. I know. On purpose. Yeah. Like, not even force-fed. Like, yeah. They're, they ask you to pay yeah. them. Pay yeah. for them. Mm. Do they? Oh, yeah. No, that place is, that place is, out, how, that place is off the chain, as the kids say. We were say. there. They're just drinking freely. There's... Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so Gillies is awesome. Highly recommend. Um, now the problem with TI happens. The brand new Senior Frogs. Which now we've tried twice, maybe three times, and I have three times of this sucks. Don't like it at all. I don't like it. Yeah, so the first two times we went, well, the first time we went, we sat outside. Oh, my God. It was the dorkiest all, thing I've ever we, been a part we, of. We think we already talked about it, but all the, all the waiters and bartenders, everybody, they all sort of like dancing together like a group dance. Well, here's what happened. It was ridiculous. So you get, you get your, you get your it was eight, funny. You get your $8 PBR. No, that was, you didn't mishear me. Your $8 PBR. And all of a sudden, it's, you know the commercials where they make fun of like TJ Fridays or TJ McFunsters or whatever, and they have like all the flair, and they have to do the happy birthday, happy birthday, you know, they have to do all that stupid crap. This place is that times a million. <laughs> it's so much, you're better off Chili's Fridays, Joe's Crab Shack, you're better off. This is dorkier than that, because we're sitting there with our $8 PBR, it's not pleased, by the way. Sitting outside in beautiful weather, <laughs> sitting on the strip. This is the whole outside front of TI, by the way, which used to be beautiful, like that little pirate town. Now it's not. It's a big, dorky Mexican joint. Anyway. It looks terrible. It lo it's no, it's really ugliest, a crime. It's ugliest facade. It's, terrible. it's, a, it's a crime what they did to the front of this hotel. I saw it for the first time over at Lavo's. Right. Yeah. I, I was shocked that they were allowed to do that. It's funny. We did the same thing. We were at Lagasse Stadium right across the street. And we didn't know, we'd already been over there a hundred times and never seen it from the outside. It's unbelievable. And I did a spit it's so take. Big. Like, pfft, yeah, yeah. What the? It's, they painted <laughs> oh, the whole red, thing red. Blocky. Go, yeah. It's gaudy. It's awful. Anyway, so we're sitting with our beers, and all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, look, it's a third world country right there. <laughs> <laughs> Which, so would the pirate place have been, kind of, but it, at least it was charming. Yeah. So we're sitting there with our beers. All of a sudden, every employee. That means every employee, even the one I'm waiting for my nachos for, and I'm waiting for my second PBR, has to come out on the floor, and they all line up facing the strip, and they play, beep, 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 cotton that joke, beep, 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 right? They're doing that. And they dance for like 10 minutes oh, straight. Okay, so they're all doing really, Are they doing cotton eye joke? Yes. Yeah. And there was it's no a Mexican bar. I know, but they're doing this like, beep, 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 cotton that joke, and they're doing this thing, and they get rid of the button, and they turn around and do, and they do this whole routine. Then DJ spins it up faster. So for 10 minutes, you're like, 
Oh my well, he god! Was, he was pissed. I was just kind of just like cracking I up, was, like, "Oh my god, what is this?" We were all of a sudden we're in Farrell's. <laughs> well, that's for the old folks. Remember Farrell's? All of a sudden we're in an I've ice cream <laughs> parlor, and I'm watching these idiots do the dip, 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 cut that joke. Dip. It's like I, I'm like, oh, my, this is worse than Flair. It's worse than. It, you know, like flair bartending, that crap. Yeah. It's way worse than that. And there, there weren't that many people out on the balcony either. And we were all looking at each other like, what the Okay, hell that's another on? thing about this bar. Carlos and Charlie's Flam Flamingo, same thing. It's the same company that owns these two. Mm -hmm. The whole audience, and, and we'll talk about last week we were there too. The whole audience is dumbfounded. <laughs> if you look around, everybody's like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> But check, I don't want to. Yeah, but, 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 my, but I can't get my check because she's up there. Dip, 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 to. You can't get your check. You're stuck. <laughs> I, oh my God. So we go. So we said we're never going back there. That was terrible. So we went back um, last weekend because apparently they've got good football deals. Because we thought they had no happier. There'd be no way that, like, what reason would we have to go there? Right. So um, I was reading an article on all the places that have really good football during Sunday, uh, Sunday football. So. Hey, they've got a really good deal there. So we go in. We bring our friend Guy. We go into this place. They're playing the worst music I've ever heard in my life. Oh, that awful song. I don't know what it was. I, I don't care to know. My head. It was horrible. So we're sitting at the bar. Oh, you? Yeah, uh, we're, we're here for football. They've got the screens all facing completely stupid directions, like not at the bar and not really at the table. I think it's all set up for karaoke. So unless you're on stage, you can't see all the TVs. So... They go, uh, we're here for football. You got any deals? Or, oh, that's all upstairs. Oh, good. Oh, okay. Well, let's go upstairs. We go upstairs. There's probably 50 people upstairs all sitting in absolute silence. It was Watching weird. like five screens. It was like church. It was. <laughs> so we walk in. Guy, am I right? We walk in. It was like. Yeah, and there was. I mean, there literally, was, we had There like, was one empty table like way in the corner of the room. And right. everybody's just sitting there like. <laughs> we're like, watch, watching the game, the and then they're all watching us walk by, and we were like, "Are we? You, are we loud? We right like, we're elephants the, walking by. Like, we this is supposed we, to be a big party. Yeah, we area, thought we're right? walking into Buffalo Wild Wings or something. <laughs> we walk, yeah. football. We walk up, and, and they, you walk up right in front of the big screen. So you walk up, literally, it's like coming into a movie theater in front of the screen. <laughs> it was so uncomfortable. And they're all watching uh, Schindler's List because it's like. <laughs> You know, I mean, that was the vibe. I, I mean, it, it, it was, it, yeah, they're either watching Schindler's List or The Accused. So everybody's like, <laughs> it was awful. So, guy, you're right. We're right? So we like, we go sit down in the back and we're like, yeah, no. And we're like, yeah. woo, football. <laughs> so we got one bucket. We got one bucket of beer. 25 bucks for five beers. Five beers. We, we drank we, three, grabbed two, and got the yeah. hell out of that. <laughs> So that is so a, senior frog stinks. No more. Now speaking of football and the last place on the list to go there, and I'm, it's not like we're leaving stuff out. This is all there is to do at TI. Now granted, seafood chat killer, Gillery's killer. You're already way worth going there. Kahunaville. I like Kahunaville. I love. I like Kahunaville too. We've had some great times. We went there. It is a flare a flare bar. But you know what? It's beyond a flare bar. Now this, I will. T uh, you know what? I, I will. I will eat some words. I always say I hate flare bars. I don't mind Kahunaville because Kahunaville is a world renowned flare. Well, these bar. These are actually like the champions that go yeah they do competitions or internationally. Yeah. Right. This is yeah. These are like the flare. Like I don't like golf, but I guess I'd go to like the PGA. Football, or Super Bowl, or whatever. I mean, I'd go to like the big deal. This is like yeah. the big. These guys are amazing. And these are the same guys that work at Rock and Rita's in Circus Circus, right? They same go owner. Back and yeah, same owner. owner. Uh, same company. This place is good. It's all Hawaiian place, kind of burgers and like. Hawaiian. If you like, if you like pineapple on your hamburgers, which who doesn't? This is the place for you. And you like nachos that are in shape of like a volcano and it's got cheese coming. I mean, it's all kind of very. Fancy, not fancy, but like themey kind of stuff. The food's good. We did a Super Bowl there one year, and it was great. It's packed. It's fun. It's all Hawaiian themed. Um, they have a patio that's out on the pool. They've uh, got those giant fishbowl drinks there. Yeah, yeah, all that kind of stuff. It's actually a really good place. It's not cheap. In fact, and and they always have those two for one drink tickets right okay, up front. That's that's a tip of the week. Don't ever just walk in there. Walk around for like ten minutes and somebody, and they'll usually have like the lays uh, with the lights on them. And they'll have two for one drinks at Kuhneville. So you just go in there, get one of those, go in and get two for one. And they don't pour a weak drink in there. No. No, it's good. It's, Kuhneville's awesome. 
I don't think we've ever eaten there besides the buffet for the Super Bowl. So I don't know if the food's good, but I, you know, the drinks are great. And they'll flare, and, it's, and, it, and you know, we all get that eyes rolling thing. We're like, they're like, oh, can I get a rum and coke? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, 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 Thanks. And, I know, and every, and every time I get that, oh. But actually, there's times where, you know what, this guy's not bad. <laughs> now stop and give me my drink, you know. All right. <laughs> but, um. No, no, Coonville, awesome. Um, and with the deals they have, um, they have big party things. Like I said, the Super Bowl's there. I mean, they do a lot of stuff. So Coonville, I would give, you know, I, I like it. Yeah, so uh, Breeze Bar, I have that down because that's the center bar there. I don't think we've ever been there. I think we have a long time ago. I think back, well, it, was, it used to be Captain Morgan's Bar. Oh, yeah. Oh, how many years ago was that? Uh, no, a long 10. Ago. Yeah, so I mean, so I don't know much about that. Um, uh, TI in general is great because for us, great parking because it's right off, right off the freeway. Oh, this is the oversized parking. Oh, oh rant. beware. I better not say <laughs> Don't exactly. ever park. If you have a little car, don't ever park in the oversized parking. Oh, yeah. So if you go to TI, <laughs> if you've ever been there, you go right in, and the first level <laughs> is oversized parking. And since I have a big, huge, dorky truck, I park in oversized parking because it's a huge truck. If you're the Miata next to me, something ends up dumped all over your car, no. <laughs> that's because you're in a Miata in the oversized parking lot. There was a Mini there that I'm surprised doesn't have some urine on it. Because we're like, we're driving around in these big trucks and you look around, there's a Mini and a Miata and like all in the oversized only parking spots. And you're like, Ooh. I'd like to just say real quickly that the Vegas Video Network does not co condone peeing on other people's No, cars. I didn't know, and I didn't. <laughs> I don't know. I just wish I did. That was the only thing. I just wish I did. Because, you know, we always get the crap for having the big, the big carbon footprint car. So, you know, we always get crap for that. Now, in oversized, no. Now we can crap back. Because, you know, you've got the little dorky car in the oversized only. But other than that, the parking's fantastic there. Um, plus, from there, you've got the mall, mm -hmm. Fashion Show Mall, which we'll hit eventually um, you know, on the show. Mirage. Uh, Venetian and Wynn are all literally, you can just walk there. We just park there and it's kind it's of a base nice camp. It's launch, launching ground right It there. is. It's base camp for that whole corner, which I think is fantastic. Funny enough, are all within probably, what, 200 yards from where we're standing yes. right now. We're very close to this, that corner. Um, but yeah, so I, the TI in general, to me, is just a, a killer place. So run it down. Seafood Shack, average check says 35 bucks a person. I don't know how that's possible. That's if you eat. Well, no, what I mean. <laughs> Wait, yeah, the, that, that's about right. Yeah, okay, I guess. Yeah. That seems a little light, 35 bucks a person. No. Because we looked at the menu, we're like, that's expensive. I guess 35 a person is a lot, isn't it? Well, it's it? like it's an entree and then a cocktail, right? Or, or, or if you don't drink, 35 is a lot. All right. Um, uh, Gillies says 12 to 30 bucks a person, I guess. That seems light, too. That seems that's like, I don't know what you get for 12 bucks at Gillies. Senior Fox, Fox is also 12 to 30 bucks that's a person. That's a lie. That's a, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a lie. They lie. Screw Senior Frog. That's a lie. <laughs> Cahunaville says 20 bucks a person. I guess that's true. I don't know. But if I was to break it down, I would go to Seafood Shack, absolutely for sure, and Gillies, absolutely for sure. If you didn't go to Cahunaville, your trip would not be a waste. Don't even go to Senior Frog. Yeah. That would be my recommendation. Or go in there and have, have a little laugh. Yeah, and you watch, know what? Watch everybody dance. Go in, you know what? Go in there and go, wow, the Ivy's are right. This sucks. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just, or not. Go there and if you have a good experience, you tell know us what? about it. But please we don't never pee in anybody's on... car there. So I'm just but don't urinate on across. people's and No, no. But never go. You know, maybe go on a Saturday night. It's probably jumping. It might well, be have, fun. Well, they have karaoke there. It might be it's fun. It's probably fun. So, but, I mean, we always go on, like, on a Sunday afternoon, and it sucks. But you know what? Saturday night... Bunch of single dudes or a bunch of single chicks, it's probably all right. You'll probably have a good time. We might try it again later. <laughs> we oh. like bashing our faces into a wall. I know. We'll go tonight. <laughs> no. um, uh, anyway, so that's the TI in a nutshell. So. Very good. Let's take a quick break and come back. It's getting hot. Oh, oh, hi. I'm Kelly Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> That stuff. I wonder if Joan Rivers is watching. Oh, oh, please. Oh, my God. Who cares? I don't have a different one. You know who watches this show? Wayne Newton. You got that right, Kelly. I think you're absolutely beautiful and talented young lady. Five, six, nine, twelve. Doggy shit. More camera time for me. Hey, I wonder if Cher's watching. 
Oh, please, I have so many other things to do. <laughs> Woo! Hi, I'm Kelly Clinton. I'm the host of Talk Tales, and you're watching the Vegas Video Network. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> and we're back! Um, I'm, uh... I'm give you some contact information now. Watch me Actually, I'm going to pee on your truck. Right. <laughs> I do realize. If you don't get this right. right. Okay. If you'd like to get a hold of us, which I'm sure you're going to want to, especially if you had that Miata. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding with the Miata. I don't think it was a Miata. I don't even know what a Miata is. Do they make those anymore? Um, we are at pubcrawl at vegasvideonetwork.com. That's pubcrawl at vegasvideonetwork.com. We are also, if you want to leave us a video, uh, a voice message, that is the coolest thing ever. That's like the future. It's like you go to our website, and over on the right side, you just click a button, and it starts recording you. Well, when you hit the start recording button. So <laughs> It's amazing. That's just amazing. And you should uh, probably have a mic on your computer. That's right. It's funny because, yeah. <laughs> Don't just start talking. We've had a couple. Without having a mic. We've got a couple of voicemails where just. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it that's working? Well, they were right. probably telling a good old story. Uh, I, I, I probably they were. <laughs> we or they were peeing on somebody's car. And just... <laughs> um, also, um, we're on iTunes. I like the audio version of our show. I can listen to it while I do other things. Like pee on cars? Like when I'm peeing on cars. <laughs> I'm just like walking around. Um, Brought to you by peeing on I've cars. I've never peed on a car. I'll say that to be honest. Um, YouTube. That's very important. We're on YouTube. You can watch us. You're probably watching us on YouTube right now. Roku, mm -hmm. which is the little box that everybody loves so much that you can watch us on. <laughs> KSHP, 1400 AM every Saturday afternoon right here in Las Vegas. 1400 AM KSHP. That's a cool, crazy, crazy station. I like it. I do too. If you're into <laughs> Vegas, listen to that station. Um, the network is blowing up. It's blowing up. It is. The Odds Couple. You guys been watching that? Scott, tell us, cool. tell us about that. Odds Couple is cool. It's a sports handicapping show uh, featuring our good friend Scott Pritchard and uh, Las Vegas headliner Anthony Padilla. Um, they're funny, they're talented, they know their stuff, and they're 0 and 4. So, <laughs> that's what I love about it, because, you know, it's football season, and we're watching a lot of football. And I think so far I've bet 20 bucks on football, and I've lost 20 bucks. You bet, you were betting money now? Well, it's, you know, it's, <laughs> I, I'm, I was, telling, I was telling Scott that at, uh, yeah, on Saturday night, because they do the odds couple. It's all about yeah. sports betting. I was telling him, I'm like, you know what, I'm 100% wrong. Opposite. I know, I should just bet opposite. Right. Just, I'm 100% wrong. When it's I go a great to show. And we're, uh, we're wrapping up for the FSC Live, the Fremont Street Experience. Fremont show. Street Experience Live. That is going very to be cool. out of control. Filmed very cool. on Fremont Street live every week. Yep. We'll be Can't drinking before that. that. Yeah, that's going to be great. So, anyway, um, quick update. This is no joke now. I don't mean to get serious. But Rat is seriously now missing. If you yeah, know Rat, we, if you love Rat like we do. We put out the word and we haven't heard anything back. And we've I'm looked, getting really concerned now. We have looked everywhere for Rat. In fact, we've checked Shifties, played against Sam, Spearmint Rhino. He's not anywhere. His favorite hangouts, he's not there. And, and we've, uh, uh, I swore, when we were making kind of the, you know, we kind of made too much of it last week. It said he's missing. I don't know if he's missing. No, now he's missing. Because we've actually looked everywhere, and he's not around. He's gone. So if you've seen Rat, let us know. Send us an email. Right. We'll have to put like a little thing on the Rat Fund. And if you have Rat, <laughs> on a milk carton. or if you have Rat, don't hurt him. Right. Please. Don't hurt him. He's harmless. We'll find We're missing Rat. So and we're, it's official. We're missing. <laughs> we're coming after you if you've taken Rat. <laughs> I've seen Alicia. First, we're going to pee on your car. Right. <laughs> yeah, that Miata is. Then. We're going to get angry. <laughs> so, as we say, Pub Crawl likes to urge you to drink responsibly, which is going to bring up a whole new point that I'm going to bring up next show about the breathalyzer in your car. And what a great thing it is to have your own breathalyzer. Not, in the, not installed in the car. No, that, but like your own. Okay. Carry around. Yeah. <laughs> we have a friend that has one. I thought that's the greatest idea. So we have yeah, one they on were order. actually, I think they were on Groupon a few weeks ago. Or yeah. Living so we Social, bought one. So. We got one on order because it's, I used his, and I'm like, oh. I'm going to sit down for a while. 
And it was really cool. convenient to have that. Like, you know what? I know where I'm at. A couple bars in town have them, but if you don't, you carry your own. How Pretty cool smart. is that? Pretty that way smart. you know, like, hey, I, and, I, and, I, and I blew an 11, or point eleven, you know, point one, whatever. You know, like, it's 8 is the, the thing, and I was at 11. It wasn't too bad. I thought, you know, a couple <laughs> slices of pizza. <laughs> Go slice the pizza about a couple out. hours. No, and we hung out for a while until we blew until we blew it. Oh no, eight. So all right, we're cool. I was like, wow, that's cool. I'm gonna carry. I'm gonna get one. You know, carry that. All you time. should probably blow an 07 before you get in the car. Well, you know what I mean. It was it was hours later, and it was like, oh, and then the no, he you left. Blow, you blow high, then you wait. Right. Then I got that part, but he said I blew an 08. Well, if you get pulled over with an 08, you're going to jail. Well, that's true. That's true. <laughs> but well, it was an 08 when he left. Maybe you'll see rat. Right. That's true. <laughs> Maybe that's what rat is. <laughs> Could you He's imagine in the slammer. That? That'd be crazy. Like waking up in the drunk tank. Do you, Scott, look... do you think that that was that one call that was like... <gasps> <gasps> That's true. Scott. That was That's his one happened. call. He didn't have He's a mic. Oh, oh, color to ID. Call ID. <laughs> color ID. We, do have, we do have a chat room here. <laughs> uh, Ryan in the chat says he has rat hostage. Uh -oh. If you want to see him safe, send him one thousand dollars in unmarked bills. Well, Ryan ain't worth that. <laughs> Ryan. Hey, Later, Ryan. Ryan. Ryan was gonna say, <laughs> Ryan, you got a new roommate, brother. Right. <laughs> yeah. Good, luck with, yeah. good luck with that. That's a little bastard, actually. You can have. <laughs> he, likes, he likes Captain and Diet. <laughs> and, uh, well, I'm not going home if you've got that rat. Right. <laughs> Boy, see how easily we turn. Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Yeah, we 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 miss him. Yeah, we do miss him. Not a thousand dollars miss him. <laughs> but anyway. Remember, we do leave stuff out, but we do not make stuff up. Until next week. Thank after you. After next. Live studio Live audience. audience. And thank you, as always, to Live Chat Room. Live Chat Room. Yay. Except for Ryan, who has rat. No thanks to you. Yeah. If it's real, Ryan, send us his tail. Oh. <laughs> or a finger. <laughs> thanks, Mom. <laughs> God. No offspring of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Until next week. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.